Hello Samsung fans and Galaxy lovers, we got the S8 optimization tutorial. This is an advanced tutorial explaining you in detail why to keep that function closed, what are the features that will consume your battery, how to optimize best your battery the application because we have here the 3000 milliamps battery. I said it before, Samsung had to bring to the S8 and the S9 a bigger battery than 3000 milliamps. So I have a way to hold your phone one entire day in medium use to a little heavy use and one and a half in easy to medium use. So we have advices for beginners and for advanced users. First of all guys, here the operating system will uh, bring yourself all kinds of features open in the bar. I know most of you know these things, but to optimize your battery, you got to turn off some simple features like location you cannot use and you don't have to use location inside. When application uses and asks you to, to give her your location, do not give your location. Do not use your mobile data if you have Wi-Fi. Mobile data will uh, take off out of uh, your battery more than Wi-Fi because it use your 3G or 4G or 4G plus network. The phone will get hit up as the signal strength and um, it will cost some battery. The NFC do not keep it alive because NFC will take battery uh, and you don't need it to use your NFC when you transfer something uh, like uh, put back to back to Samsung phones and transfer something. Another good thing is go in Wi-Fi and press the advanced button and you have here turn on Wi-Fi automatically. So turn it on, It the phone in Android 8.0 is this function. The phone will sense your Wi-Fi near and it will automatically turn on it will reduce the battery usage this function wi-fi calling do not keep it on if uh, you are not using these services so the bottom line guys is use and uh, turn on the function only when you are using them when you're not using and turn them off i know this uh, it sounds like for children but uh, some people do not think of this uh, small but important uh, aspect. The phone visibility, turn, turn it off. You will give the phone visibility only when you want somebody to connect you by Bluetooth the phones uh, one with each other. Next guys, um, we have the display. Most of you will have the screen in uh, WQHD resolution so give yourself in full hd plus because you will not notice the difference are small differences and personally i like the graphic in this resolution being a small display uh, 5.8 inch it's good this resolution is perfect for you the resolution the higher is the resolution more power it will use from from your uh, battery the screen timeout i recommend you to put in 50 seconds because furthermore in the display you will see will uh, put the phone to monitorize uh, your eyes and uh, see when you are looking at it that is a special and important function for the samsung phones i don't recommend you to activate this function because it will use a sensor to see if it's uh, in your pocket so if your phone is blocked you don't need that feature next guys in the advanced features the smart state this is the uh, important function i was talking about earlier because it will look at your eyes and see if uh, you are looking at the phone and it will uh, leave your screen on the game mode turn off your game mode uh, when you are gaming you can turn it on and then back off and another mode is that video enhancer that video enhancer use, uses more battery so turn this uh, turn as much features as you can off as you can 
uh, if you are using a feature and you it's indispensable use that function and ignore my advices so for now do as i say and you have a clean battery even if some uh, advices in this tutorial are uh, for beginners and you know them you will see in this tutorial i will bring you more and more stuff more uh, tips to make your phone stronger in the battery and less long lasting uh, one day one day and you have fingerprint sensor gestures you don't need them close them quick launch camera will not consume uh, the battery we have some function here turn off the smart capture and palm swipe to capture because i will teach you a secret if you want to make a print screen you can use volume down and power key all together and now i have a print screen i don't need these sensors to be activated all the times to consume my battery direct call you cannot press for example a button on your uh, message for example when you have a message with someone and uh, you press a button you, you can make the call you don't need a sensor while you you're uh, typing that message to monitorize all the times and uh, when you put to the face to make the call you can simply press a button and that's it the smart alert leave it on because when you lift your phone from the table it will vibrate when you have a notification it's very good the easy mute you can leave it uh, on i will turn it off the easy mute because uh I don't know this function will be used only when you receive a call or when you have alarm to put your uh, quickly your hand or in the college you can uh, put quickly your hand to mute your phone but you can do this also with the volume up and down to mute that call or uh, the alarm clock so I will disable as much functions as I can swipe to call or send messages you can leave it on to swipe this this one uh, doesn't use a sensor for example like the direct call direct share turn it off the video enhancer turn it off and this is for the advanced features we have something i ignored in connection i think nearby device scanning turn it off turn it off so guys the big speed when you glide to the right you have the bixby button personally i will disable it it's remaining your choice but the Bixby has a voice option here that will monitorize your voice with voice wake up and when you say I don't know hi Bixby you see it uh, it's listening you and while this function is turned on it will monitorize your voice and consume battery personally I uh, will uh, turn it off let's see hi Bixby and if you see even with the lock screen uh, the Bixby is hearing you and um, it's monitoring your voice consuming battery if you are not using this function unlock with the voice password you can turn off the Bixby so now I will turn off even in the, in the key and it's important in the slide will make uh, for example here it was the Samsung newsstand and uh, it uh, delayed a little bit this uh, transition of the menu in the in the past now it's the Samsung Bixby for example I don't have anything now sliding to the right and the Bixby button it's not working so in happy day for me I optimized uh, my phone a little better okay guys let's continue now in the device maintenance we have the battery so you will have all your applications uh, you will have a list of application now i'll put mine to save power and i uh, use the always uh, sleeping applications to uh, not run in the background and consume battery in the advanced settings in the battery guys turn off your fast cable charging and i will tell you why the battery as you charge it fast with a lot of amps it will discharge somehow fast 
as normally you will charge your battery it will last you longer in time and in sessions for example if you charge normally at one day two days it will um, it will help you and you will keep the current in uh, his uh, his battery cells more time in the notification settings guys you have battery drain application leave it like this and unstable application for the phone to warn you and for example guys in the always sleeping application i put all my application i'm not interested in and for example guys in the always sleeping applications um, I put all my application I'm not interested uh, and uh, you can put all, all your application if something will not bring you messages in the front like uh, the Facebook's messenger you can uh, remove that from always sleeping applications. You can remove that application from always sleeping applications. So, save power put all, all your application and press the save power button at the performance mode i don't recommend you to keep it in the high performance or on the game use it in optimize settings the always on display it's nice i like it very much the always on display but when i want my phone to last me the battery one entire day i will turn off my always on display to conserve battery and i see i will show you later that the always on display i think it uses three hours if you are using um in the entire day if you are closing the always on display you will gain three hours more battery personally to save more battery use your face recognition instant iris scanner but the iris scanner it will run more smoothly on the android 8.0 than the 7.0 it will instantly unlock your phone but it's a catch if you are configure it uh, the iris scanner inside you will have problems outside unlocking the phone if you are uh, configuring the iris scanner and the registry iris outside you will have problems inside so i don't know what is the limit uh, i think you have to configure and register your iris in uh, i don't know some kind of uh, not highlight like it's outside but uh, in medium light inside the, your home to make the iris scanner work better personally use face recognition if you want uh, that uh, sensor to not be used by the, the phone by the iris scanner to unlock your phone and consume battery but this is a small a small cut disabling more features it will add and it will add to your battery life another thing let's go into the location the gps and uh, when you configure your android it will ask you to the location and if you give the location history on bring it off bring it off now guys let's continue uh go at about if you see i have the developer option already unblocked but if you don't have go at the about phone go and the software information and you have he'll build number Press as many times as you can, you will see 3, 2, 1, unblocking your developer mode. And now, in developer mode, and here guys, in the window animation scale, first one put it at 0, 05, and this transition, turn them off. It will make your phone faster and you will consume less battery. Guys, the last thing I want to show you is very important, it's power saving mode. So guys, if you want your battery to last a day and a half or an entire day, put to sleep the always on display. And uh, I don't know if this CPU limiter, it's uh, for example here, you if you see, it's a small limit of 4 minutes for the speed limiter. And I will tell you another thing, the speed limiter can consume more battery because uh, it will struggle, the CPU will struggle to open a large application. Uh, I recommend you to turn off the speed limiter. Leave the CPU as maximum because uh, it will open up, it uses more power, it will open up very rapidly the, the, um, that application. Decrease brightness, the, uh, this is a nice thing because it will decrease with 10% percent the brightness and the and if you'll see here guys the the battery is consumed by 
let's see in better issues by the screen it being good if uh, we were be able to put minus 15 or 20 for in the night for example or or in inside spaces where uh, we can use the bright this bright screen because samsung s8 s9 have bright screens and we can protect the battery by uh, decreasing the brightness but 10 percent is decent um, i think if you have problems with the facebook um, giving you updates or some kind of or whatsapp um, turn off this feature and go in the battery and bring to the unmonitor application the facebook for example and uh, put it the application you need the that notification if uh, the power saving function will have uh, making you problems or my tip for always sleeping applications will make you problems notifying you by uh, your uh, application like facebook whatsapp um, as the last tip guys you can put your phone in the maximum uh, power saving mode and it will use grayscale it will use <laughs> small graphics but you can use your phone i don't think you can uh, use a lot of functions with activating this uh, uh, but it will give you a lot of power for making calls and using the basic functions of a phone not of a smartphone so it lets me in the ultra power saving mode small functions so guys thank you for watching thumbs up for this video have a great day guys we are i technology reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys bye